And we're celebrating 25 years of God's goodness as well. Thank you very much for staying with us through the decades. To the news now, and early this dawn, a group believing, believed to be uh, belonging to the Home Study Group Foundation mounted roadblocks amid burning of tires on the two major roads leading to and from the Volta region. That's the Atimpoku Japon stretch and the Sogakope stretch. Now, some travelers caught up in the chaos said um, they spent close to two hours in traffic, particularly on the Sogakope stretch. The Western Togoland group also believed uh, to have attacked the Mefe and Aveime police stations in the North Tong constituency. The group numbering about 50 reportedly made away with weapons kept in the armory. We'll bring you some live updates shortly, but first, co-host of the Super Morning Show, Winston Amor, has joined us in studio to give us some more detail. Winston, what have we gathered? Well, Nana, so just as you said, you've talked about how they blocked uh, roads, but we're told now that, you know, the roads uh, have, uh, have been eased and so traffic is flowing. There's no longer a challenge when it comes to uh, the traffic situation. As early as by 7.45, 8 a.m., uh, the road was open to traffic. Earlier when we spoke to the Volta Regional Minister, Dr. Chibo Yalecha, he confirmed the situation and he said that they were dealing with it. Of course, he wasn't going to give us information as to how they were going to deal with it, but eventually uh, it was dealt with and we're told that some persons have been arrested. We don't know where they've been taken to. Uh, we're still trying to understand where they've been taken to. But we're told the military went to, say, the drop-on stretch of road, uh, pick these persons and took them away. But it's a bit bizarre, isn't it, Winston? They broke into a police station, an armory, and, and I understand they, they stripped it, an officer naked. Well, so when we called one of the officers, um, his, his phone was picked by someone who introduced himself as uh, a member of the secessionist, and he says that, well, they have the officer's phone now, and our checks had confirmed that also, and we told us some persons had been, had been injured as a result. Um, Daniel, without getting into the details of what, how the police stations are, uh, you know, uh, protected, you know, there, we, we, we had an instance of um, Chief, uh, Chief Inspector Ashilevi was shot at the Kwabinya police station, yeah. normally during night duty. You don't have a lot of people there, yeah. and so that probably might explain why the people decided to strike at that point. But, you know, there's also been lots of concerns, and, I mean, just from the uh, questions from the super monitor, people really want to understand what this whole thing and mean, and the antecedents of it. There are lots of people who have uh, said, look, help us understand this. Mm -hmm. Because for many of us, we, we don't know what the situation is. And so when we hear these things, we think that, okay, so uh, there was a plebiscite in 1956. And by 2006, we expected uh, another plebiscite to make a decision as to whether or not we still want to be part of the Gold Coast. And I say this because, look, I, I, I'm a whole boy, right? I'm a whole boy. And I know that part very well. And going through school, uh, one of the things I had also was that a plebiscite was for 50 years. It was not until I decided to find out, read more, that I realized that it was not for 50 years. Oh. It was not for 50 years. So you can read, uh, you know, uh, Emeritus Professor D.E.K. Amenume. He has an article that, I mean, he's written extensively about the other people. And I just would share a bit, bits and pieces of what some of the things he's been saying. So the plebiscite of 1956 which decided, uh, you know, um, those who are going to be part of then Gold Coast, soon to be Ghana. Mm -hmm. Now, in the Volta region, these are the persons who took part in the current Volta region. The Ho district and the Pando district. Okay, the Ho district. So, so they are the ones who voted. Who, who voted. Now, the people of Keta, Anglo, Akachi, Sugakope, the Tong areas, they did not vote. They did not vote, and they were originally part of the Gold Coast. This is historical facts that can be checked. Oh, okay. They were originally part of the Gold Coast. You but see? it is people from these same areas who now say they want to secede. So the, the, the point is, if anybody says, for instance, that the whole of the Volta region was part of British uh, Togoland, that isn't the case. But you see, because in our maps, we actually did a Transvolta Togoland that consisted of all of them. Mm -hmm. There's always the confusion. I mean, if you had been to, uh, when you went to secondary school and you were learning geography uh, or social studies, you're told, oh, okay, so this is Transvolta Togoland. Yeah. Or British Transvolta Togoland. The point is, after the end of the First World War in 1918, which led to the establishment of the League of Nations, Germany lost all their colonies. 
Mm -hmm. Germany lost all their colonies. One of those was Togo. And so I went to Mali school. While in Mali school, we're, we're being taught German. We're taught German, I mean, anybody who wanted to learn German in Mali school could do so until 1998, 1999. But even then, it started again. So that was a German colony. Mm -hmm. And it was split between the British and the French. Mm. So the British added their colony to Ghana. A whole nick in trust for the people. So in 1956, there were concerns, there were agitations, no, there were petitions that, look, the other people wanted to know their fate, whether they would become part of Gold Coast, some would say, or, whether they would go and be united with our brothers in Togo. Because there were others in original Gold Coast, mm -hmm. there were others in British Togoland, mm -hmm. and there were others in French Togoland. Okay, so a group said, no, we want to be a federal state that would have a chance to decide later whether we become part of British, uh, uh, where, um, French Togoland. Whether Togoland. you join the French, French Togoland. Togoland. And another said, wanted to join Ghana. Now watch this carefully. Of British Togoland included a place like Yindi. Oh. Yindi, yes. Yeah, so I understand so, that a number of the northerners so this, exactly. chose so, to. Chose to go. So it had the Mampusi areas were part of British Togoland. Some of the Gunjas and the Dagombes. Now, they, together with the Krachi Bwems, voted to be part of Ghana. The Pandos and the Hos voted not to be part of the then Gold Coast. But because they were voting on block, okay. you had a situation where 58%, that's 93,000, mm. said we want to be uh, united with the Gold Coast, and 67,000 said we want but to e be on even that. Even that was a bit tight. So that's a bit of the historical antecedent to what we know is happening this morning. Let's go to Odia Sempa, who is with so Jamain FM. Um, Odia Sempa, good morning. So tell us, what's the situation as we know now? Um, good morning, good morning, uh, my, my senior colleague. Uh, right now, I think everything is calm, but just that uh, uh, we have information uh, from the police and some residents around Japan, but it's in the constituency of that is uh, not strong, that there have been some arrest of some of the perpetrators, I mean the perfectionists. Uh, are a number of 25 or something. So we got here and uh, what we were being told happens to be the truth. So we are now trying to find out uh, the total number of persons that have been arrested so we can report to, 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 to you. Right. I take it the police are yet to speak? Exactly. They are yet to speak to us. We, we, we just got here and the information that we had earlier uh, what, what was yeah. confirmed. When you yeah. say we got here, where exactly are you? Right now in Japan, right now, where okay. the incident happened. So okay. we are yet to confront the police. Uh, Is that the only yeah. place where the roads were blocked? Not at all. Mm. Uh, um, around Japan, uh, sorry, I credit to um, Bong. Uh, in between that is uh, a Sujaman district and then the lower Menya municipality. That is the, the shared boundaries, you know, lower Menya municipality and then the Sujaman district shared boundaries. Mm -hmm. So in between that um, uh, place, uh, they, they, they used blocks to block the road. Uh, and later on, the security agencies came in and they were able to, you know, engage them. So they, they offload the blocks from the road. So as I speak with you, the police uh, Claire and Casa, you know, going up and down. Thank you very much, Odi Asempa, for joining us. He worked with the soldier, Mine FM, um, right in the thick of it. And Winston, it looks like some good news here. Some 25 persons have been picked up. So exactly. um, really, the justification that this group may feel for this is that they, they feel that in 1956, they only voted this plebiscite for 50 years. This plebiscite, which they did not even take part in the election at all, right? Well, but um, Daniel, I, I just you know uh, showed you, and I, I and I guess would look at. Um, I, I want to do this so that uh, just by way of um, you know information, all of us are learning. So I'm going to quote, for instance, um, uh, something which I have here, and that talks about um, a situation. So it says, um, without prejudice to the eventual solutions that may choose, whether it be independence, unification of an independent Togoland. Uh, under French administration or unification with an independent gold cause or some other self-governing
with an independent Togo under French administration or unification with an independent Gold Coast. And that's what we have now. Okay. A so that, that's the option that Coast. won. Yes. So, so, and it was in perpetuity. It wasn't perpetuity. for it wasn't a for period 56. of time. It wasn't 50 years. And uh, for those who doubt right. this, you can actually um, Google um, Emeritus Professor D.E.K. Amenume. Uh, he's retired. He used to be at the University of Cape Coast. He's written extensively about the Ever people. And he explains all of these. And in an article he published in 2016, he says, I'm getting involved in all of this because of the misinformation uh, being put out there by people who also go out there and say the whole of the voter region voted. Meanwhile, it is what? It is British Togoland comprising even the north e the eastern side of the country. Right. Um, Winston Amwa, thank you very much for those updates.